Hello everybody, this is Vash Critters Gaming and I'm here with you today with a TDM uh, Discovery using the Enfield which in my opinion is one of the most one of, yeah, one of the most underrated guns in this game people think it sucks and whatever, nope and as you will see in this gameplay, I pretty much own with it but anyways, besides the gameplay the Call of Duty Black Ops like convention thing that's happening here in uh, LA on September 2nd and the 3rd and what what do you think of it like wh would you go for the price of I think it's around $150 per person just to play Modern for 3 like what is it two months before in my opinion I don't think it's worth it for 150 bucks <laughs> you could literally buy by the time like November comes around you could buy three copies of that game and it's uh, I get it when people go to conventions when like TV shows and movies because there's like a key, uh, it, 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 there's a storyline and there's eventually well most movies and TV shows there's an end so you want to enjoy the experience like uh, with all these people and uh, you, uh, hang out with all these people who like the same thing as you but with Call of Duty I get that but about charging 150 bucks that's that's a lot of money especially to play a game early just two months early I get it you want to play early and whatever and I will even understand if you go if it was like absolutely free it's heck I will try to go if it was absolutely free but since it isn't $150 seems a little bit pricey to me and just to go into more detail um uh on the Call of Duty XP that's what they're calling it I call it Call of Duty con whatever you want to call it but um they say that the Call of Duty Modern for 3 is going to be revealed. The Call of Duty 1 million tournament sponsored by Xbox 360. Compete for fun and prizes. Battle and Scrapyard, which I do not know what means. And Gravel Buy at Burger Town. So there's like the whole atmosphere thing of Call of Duty going on. And that seems like fun. But again, I come to the $100, $50 price. And I just, it, it seems to me like way too expensive. And just because of that price, I, I only expect hardcore sort of wealthy Call of Duty fans to go but the average player like say you and, and me wouldn't probably go because of the price tag and I'm just yep yeah, just to confirm it because I was 100% sure I just checked on the website right now and the tickets are $150 each with 100% of tickets 100% of ticket sales going to Call of Duty Endowment, a non-profit organization which seeks to help veterans find work and establish careers as they transition back to civilian life. Okay, now that I see the money is going for a good cause, I understand why. Maybe they're charging a lot, but couldn't they charge maybe a little less? Even lower it down maybe to like 90, 100 bucks. But at least all the money is going to a good cause if you're wondering if it's all profit for them and everything like that. But yeah, tell me what you think. Are you gonna go? Are are you gonna pay the 150 bucks to play Modern for three? Maybe for like, I'm guessing some, some, even though it's gonna be 150 bucks, there's still gonna be a lot of people, and especially the press going in for uh, the latest updates on Modern for three and and all that good stuff. But um, for us regular people, wow, well, everybody's gonna get the first chance. But what I mean is, there's still gonna be quite a bit of people in there and um. How much do you think you're actually gonna get to play Modern Warfare 3? Because I bet there's gonna be like giant lines, or maybe they have them all over the place, and you're gonna be able to play as much as you want. But I really don't know. This, this is the first thing, first time around type of thing, and well, I guess we'll just have to see. But at least for this year, I don't think I'm gonna be going to that convention thing. Maybe in years, in the future, where maybe it's cheaper, and or maybe, uh, I don't know. I get some inheritance from like an old red live and I become and rich or whatever right but yeah <laughs> until that happens I don't think I'll be showing up to that type of event or well, at least at that price tag and I also wanted to talk about uh, habits of what you do while you're playing Call of Duty the other day I was playing um with some of my friends and I, heck, I was kind of getting uh, bored or whatever so I started eating and uh, I was just wondering like I know a lot of the people who watch these type of videos play Call of Duty a lot. So sometimes when you get bored, or like I don't know, you're dead and on search to destroy, whatever. What do you do? Do you just stand there and watch 
the spectator view or do you check your Facebook or do you go <laughs> to the kitchen and grab a bottle of water or whatever I just want <laughs> I'm just wondering what people do because uh yeah I find it interesting what people find to do when they've got a couple of seconds time but they don't really want to go anywhere for a long time and for me one of them is eating if I have like a bunch of snacks at home I'll probably just keep munching and munching and munching and by the end of the the night from like let's say 9 to 12 p.m. or 1 a.m. I'll be done with like fuck three bags of chips and like a bunch of ho-hos and and all that good stuff with freaking Twinkies and all the breads, shit, all the cookies ever invented and whatnot. But yeah, what I was just wondering what you do during that time. I guess it's just a type of Nick that you have to be doing something since uh, Call of Duty is kind of like a fast-paced game, so you're. I feel like Call of Duty people aren't the most patient. Not trying to offend anybody, but that's how I look at things. Whether it be Call of Duty or while playing Call of Duty, you're impatient, so you gotta do something while you wait. But maybe that's not the situation for everyone, so I'm just saying. But it'll be interesting to know what people do while waiting and stuff in Call of Duty. And another thing, since we're already in uh, July, which is what? More than half a year since Call of Duty Black Ops came out. People are starting getting their downtime. People are starting to find the game boring. Who are, who still played this long? Some people stopped playing it a long time ago because they didn't like the game in general. But the people who are still playing right now, some of them are just getting uh, bored about it. And yeah, there's that zombies option. But besides that, what else is there in Call of Duty besides multiplayer to keep playing? Because once you pass a campaign, it's not that type of gun. Eh, campaign, can't even speak. That uh, you do more than once, like let's say, I don't know, Bioshock or something like that. Because, yeah, besides Intel, there's nothing much you would want to go back for unless you want to pass it on better and if you didn't already do it the first time. And Zombies is fun, but um, unless like you're like a zombie pro or whatever, I don't think you can keep playing that if you already used to play mo uh, multiplayer all the time. Cause you're used to, uh, yeah, you know, killing real life people, not just zombies over and over again. And I'm not saying alive. zombies is, it gets boring and things, but once you get to like a high level and then you have to start over again, it just seems kind of like a hassle to try to start over again and reach that level again and even pass it. But yeah, zombies are freaking fun, especially when uh, <laughs> when you're freaking out that a horde of zombies is gonna freaking rape you in the butt and whatnot. <laughs> but Another option besides playing Call of, waiting for the next Call of Duty next year is to play other games which I've been doing recently with uh, Infamous 2 and, and I'm about to start uh, Fear 3 which seems interesting but I don't know. I'm not a big uh, Fear fan but I'll see, I'll see. But I'm, I'm starting to like uh, Infamous 2 a lot and I, I, I like the, the whole storyline of how a regular guy just became some guy with electricity power he's a total badass and I don't know, I find it entertaining and like any other classic game you could go play too, like I don't know, Assassin's Creed, Bioshock, Uncharted, oh Batman, that's one of my uh, favorite games of all time besides maybe like Call of Duty, fuck, that was a pretty damn good game and I can't wait for uh, Batman Arkham Asylum, see like yeah, there's, I know some of my friends who uh, play Call of Duty and they're like, I want to say like short sighted because all they do is play Call of Duty or Maybe a game here or there once a week or something like that. No, not even once a week, like once a month or something. <laughs> Especially since the whole Welcome Back program, they gave them free games or whatever. Uh, but if they were to try other games, like let's say, you, you know, Batman, they'll be like, whoa, there's more games besides Call of Duty. It's like, sometimes I feel like Call of Duty players are just brainwashed to play Call of Duty. Nothing but Call of Duty. You know, there is more games. And don't tell me you just bought like a freaking 200 300 dollar system just to play one game over and over over again and just wait for the next one to come out a year later which to me seems like a dumb dumb investment <laughs> because yeah well you buy a whole concert for just one game and i understand for like special games like uncharted maybe you bought ps3 just to play that game but still i still find that kind of odd you wouldn't play other games on that same system just because you're in brain, it seems like love or brainwash with just one game but and I'm not hating on Call of Duty or anything but just spread your options 
don't just stay stuck on one game it's good to play more and keep your eye view uh how do you say wider but anyways uh end up going pretty getting 40 plus kills with the amphio which most people don't like but as you can see i pretty much own with it uh thank you for watching and listening to my ramble or rant whatever you want to call it and uh be sure to give this a like if you enjoyed it and i'll see